happening, Instagram. Happy Taco Tuesday, baby. Let's go. It is officially time to go. And we're going to have a special conversation, right? I get to talk about today, step two of the master key to success. And it's a very great conversation that we're going to have today. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, yesterday, I talked about step one of the master system. And that was having a definite, major purpose, plus a burning desire. Now, step two of the master key is this. Well, you're going to need to have a definite plan and you're going to need to back that plan up with continuous action, right? And I'm actually going to read this right here. Napoleon Hill from Thinking Grow Rich even said it himself, right? Poverty needs no plan. You don't need a plan to be poor. Let's just put it that way, right? You need absolutely, you can be fine. If you want to be poor, you don't need a plan. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Napoleon Hill says this, when riches Take the place of poverty. The change is usually brought about through well-conceived and carefully executed plans. Poverty needs no plan. All right, so that's the conversation today. Two things, organized planning and persistence. That's going to be the topic today. I'm super excited uh, to be talking about this because this is critical. And there's a couple of things that I really want to address that I feel like are on the top of individuals' minds. We might be thinking, well, Mike, I do have a plan, right? I do have a plan. You know, I got my Google Calendar up. I got my Outlook up. And, you know, for work, right, I have a full plan. But here's the thing, right? Yeah, you got a plan to help make your boss rich. But what's your plan for your dreams, right? Do you, and let me ask you this. Do you, one, do you have a planner, right? Two, that, that's the most important. And two, even if you do have your own calendar, even if you do have your own planner, do you have it scheduled? Or this is going to hurt. Do you have it scheduled down for your dreams? Or do you have the actions that you need to take scheduled down in your planner for your dreams? And, you know, when I when my mentor told me that, like, do you, are your dreams actually scheduled on your planner? And I looked at my planner. It was nothing. I had, you know, I had everybody else's plans written out. But where's the plan to get me rich? So that that's critical, right? Do you have a plan for your dreams? All right. Now, let's let's keep going. Um, let me let me start off with a story now before I get into any more quotes, right? I'll tell you this, right? When I was nineteen, um, let's let's take it back to the beginning, right? When I got started on the entrepreneurship journey that I'm on now, right? I uh, I was nineteen at the time, and I remember I had a manager. He wasn't a mentor; he was a manager, and he helped me. He he's like, "Yo, you got to get a planner," and so I ordered a physical planner. And I will say to this day, that planner has been one of the greatest purchases I've ever created, right? Just being able to, to physically write down, to be able to physically write down, not talking to digital planners. I'm talking about physically writing down what my week's going to look like every single week, where you're able to eventually start visualizing how things are going to go, right? And, and it's so critical because you'll, you'll, when you start visualizing how things are going to go, and you start using your imagination and you write it down, you're able to see it, right? Then you can start time blocking areas um, that you didn't think of time that you had. But you gotta realize, right? We all have the same 24 hours in the day, right? You and the people that you look up to, they have the same 24 hours in the day, right? How are you using it? And the thing is, the people that, that are successful, right? They have a definite plan. They have a definite vision for how their day is going to look. They have a definite vision for how their week, how their month is going to look, right? It's written down and they can see it. They know where to uh, spend their energy, right? There's no such thing as time management. You can't manage time, but you can manage your energy. So, so how do you need to manage your energy? And I'm telling you, if it's not written down, if it's not scheduled, let's just face it. Let's just call it what it is. It's not getting done, right? Let's stop bullshitting ourselves, saying we're going to get it done and not writing it down to get it done. No, it's not getting done unless it's scheduled in the planner. Let's be real. So, so that's, that's why it's so critical. Google Calendar is free. Outlook is free. Get a planner. It's like 11 to 20 bucks. Right? It's probably 20 bucks, but who cares? It's the best investment I've ever bought. Besides all the books, besides the mentorship, right? That planner has been my own boss. Especially if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to be your own boss, but right? you're going to have to follow the planner. You're going to need some self-discipline. 
So, that was how I got started with the planner. Now, let's bring it back. Let's talk about Think and Grow Rich. Right? Here's what Napoleon Hill says. Right? He says that anybody can wish for riches. And most people do. But only a few know that definite plans plus a burning desire for wealth are the only dependable means of accumulating wealth. I'll repeat, many people wish for riches, right? Everyone that you talk to wishes they can get rich, but they're not gonna get rich. The only people that do are the few that know that a definite plan plus a burning desire for wealth are the only dependable means of accumulating wealth. Do you have a definite plan and do you have a burning desire? Wait, are you obsessed with the idea of becoming wealthy? And are you willing to go through the uncomfortable moments to develop the self-discipline to follow through with your plan? Because that's what it comes down to. You're not, we're, let's face it, right? we're not going to make it. I don't know what your dreams are, but if you become definitive about them and you set a plan, even if the plan sucks, even if the plan sucks, at least you start it. That's the problem with most people. They don't get started and they never develop a plan. Wait, I'll tell you what, my first plan, when I thought I was going to make it big, it was not a great plan. Now it was a good plan, but it wasn't a great plan, right? I had, uh, I had, you know, the painting business, right? That was my first plan. That was the first business. And you know, things happened, life happened, whatever, temporary defeat. And so what did I do? You know, yeah, I, I experienced that uncomfortable temporary defeat, but then I got a new plan, right? And it was through that new plan that all of a sudden, you know, what's that uh, quote by Paulo Coelho, right? The moment uh, a new goal, a new battle is started, there's, there's this one quote where it's like, once you set a goal, right, it's like the new battle has started, right? Everything in the past is the past, right? Once you have a new plan, right, it's like game on. It's like, it's like you just reset, right? You're like now working this plan. I don't care what happened in the past. What's the plan now that we're following? Okay. So that was, that was it on plans. Now let's talk about this. Let's talk about this, right? This is another quote from Napoleon Hill. And he says this, he says, you are engaged in an undertaking that is of major importance to you. This isn't a game. This is your life that we're talking about. This is your dreams. This is what you want most out of life. This is your definite major purpose that we're talking about. And we're not allowed to play around with this idea. You are engaged in an undertaking of major importance to you. To be sure of success, you must have plans which are faultless. They gotta be faultless. You can't, if, if you don't have, like, here's the thing. It is what it is, right? If you don't have sound plans, you're gonna experience temporary defeat. But how do you create sound plans? Well, you just have to start by somewhere. You have to start by making one plan and then that plan eventually, right? You can refine it over time and, and all of a sudden that plan starts to become more sound. Now, here's another part to, to develop in the proper plan that you need. Napoleon Hill says this. He says that you must have the advantage of the experience, education, native ability, and imagination of other minds, right? This is the secret, right? You're not going to be able to come up with the plan on yourself. And that's where the mastermind principle comes into play, right? Being able to utilize plans from other people because the other people that have the results that you want, they had a plan that they followed to get there. And it seems much more easier, right? I think you're going to save a lot more time following the plan of the people that have the results than trying to do it on your own, right? My mentor says this, the do-it-yourself method does not work. But you're going to hit temporary defeat. You need sound plans. Now, that's why it's so important to have a mastermind group that you can run your plans by, get them double-checked, before you go out and, and act on them, right? And, and that's why, you know, we're going to even talk about tomorrow. We're, no, we're going to talk about on day four, the importance of a mastermind group. All right.
Now, even furthermore on that idea, right? He says that every plan you adopt in your endeavor to accumulate wealth should be the joint creation of yourself and every member of your mastermind group, right? That's the that's why the mastermind is going to be so critical for you, right? Me being able to to talk about what my plans are with a mastermind has been so critical to me actually doing it. And this is non-negotiable, right? You need to apply every principle from Think and Grow Rich if you truly want to make it. Now, a lot of people don't understand the principles, but that's all right, right? That's why, you know, that's where my purpose comes in. Right, so yes, you can originate your own plans. Yes, you can come up with your own plans, but double check it with, with your mastermind, right? See that those plans are checked and approved by the members of your mastermind principle, right? When I, when I decided that I'm gonna start a mastermind on Think and Grow Rich, right, I ran it by my mentor, and he told me to start going live Monday, every day just teaching this. And yes, it's going to be bad at first, but you're going to get better and better, right? That's that's the biggest thing I learned, right? Luckily, I have a mastermind to fall on. Now, it's so important that you that you align yourself with individuals that are going to help you with your purpose. Because otherwise, right, you're just going to be by yourself. And let's face it, right? There's so much against us where right? we need that community. We need that mastermind group that we can fall back on and recharge our batteries and go at it another day, right? This principle is no joke. Now, I talked a little bit about plans and yes, it is so important, right? If you have a sound plan, you are already halfway there, but there's still the, the second half to go and we're missing the fact that you need to take continuous action on your plans. Right? If you just do a plan, stop, and it's like, oh man, that didn't work. No, it didn't work because I stopped working it. Right, This stuff works. I just got to keep going. So I'm going to read this. I'm going to talk about persistence now. Napoleon Hill says, if the first plan which you adopt does not work successfully, replace it with a new plan. If this new plan fails to work, Replace it in turn, but still another. And so on, and so on, and so on. Until you find the plan which does work. Now here's where most people get tripped up. Here's where I have gotten tripped up. Let's say your plan doesn't work. Let's say you have a plan and you follow it and it doesn't work. You experience temporary defeat. Do you have the persistence? Do you have the discipline within you to keep going? Right? That's, that's what separates the people that say they're going to get rich from the people that do get rich. Right? They actually have that persistence to keep on going. No matter what, no matter what temporary defeat happens. Right? That's the kicker. Right? Having that persistence, having that state of mind, knowing that no matter how many times I get knocked back down, right, I'm going to come back up. I'm going to create a new plan. I'm going to follow that new plan. I'm going to evaluate that new plan and I'm going to keep going. Right? All of a sudden, what does life turn into? Life turns into like a science experiment, right? Just coming up with a more sound plan using the experience that you have and keep going, right? And even more important, right? I know we're going down the rabbit hole of persistence now, right? Persistence with right? that state of mind is so impeccable that, that, that right there, it doesn't matter what you want. There is not one single individual that has made it in this world to a level of extraordinary achievement that did not have persistence. There are people more, less talented than you. There are people with less skill than you, less attractive than you, less, they don't have what you have. They don't have your secret sauce, but you know what they had? They were persistent and they made it. And you're wondering, how did they make it? How did they get lucky? No, they didn't get lucky. They were persistent, right? right. And, and you know, Napoleon Hill says this, Right when you when you develop this state of mind known as persistence, right you get it with it. Um, every time you hit failure, every time you hit temporary defeat, you get with it something that is way more important than the monetary riches that you're after, and that is the the seed, the 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 knowing, the understanding that every failure comes with it the seed of a equivalent advantage. Right, every time you get knocked down evaluate why did I get knocked down what was wrong with my plan and yeah you may not get it at first but I'm telling you the seed 
of an equivalent advantage will begin to start to pop up. And all of a sudden, you can start seeing a new light. You can start seeing the new path. You can start seeing the new plan where you messed up, where you need a fix. And all of a sudden, but you know, okay, let me just keep going. But you keep going and eventually, right, with that state of mind known as faith, it's going to happen. Right? These are principles that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no strategy of, you know, how to get rich on Shopify or Amazon. No, I'm talking about principles that have worked for people back in 1950 that are working for people still today. Right? Definite plans plus continuous action that knows no such thing as failure will bring you riches. Right? So what do you got to do today? How do you start today? Well, you start by making a plan. It doesn't matter if it's not a sound plan. Right? You start by making a plan and then take action on that plan. Improvise that plan. Get a mastermind group. Start running that plan by the mastermind group. But really start developing these principles, these states of mind, right? This is so critical, right? You think and grow rich. It's, it's, this, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. I don't care what race, what color, what religion you are. Anybody can make a plan, right? This doesn't, this doesn't deny anybody from that, right? So what are you going to do today? There's no excuses, right? Jim Rohn says it's easy to do. It's also easy not to do. All right, so. That's the spiel for today. I want to thank you all for watching, for tuning in. You know, I talked a lot about step two of the master key system. And, you know, we really dove into the idea of definite plans plus continuous action. All right. And that's such a big idea. Right? It's such a big idea. This is going to absolutely change the game for you if you follow through on it. And remember, this is over your lifetime. This isn't follow through on it tomorrow and then uh, Mike was wrong. Now, this is like, can I make this a part of my life? Can I make this a habit, a part of my life? All right, so I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you all for watching. Happy Taco Tuesday. Let's get after it. Let's go get this money. Let's go create a definite plan. Let's be definite with our purpose. I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Bye, everybody, for now.